Hi. What do you think of my shirt? Cute, right? I like it. It worked out nice because I'm I'm down to like the scraps of all of my of my heat transfer vinyl. So I got a little uh, creative with the colors here, but it worked out good. Proud of myself. It's the first time I've actually done this much, like, different. Okay, so, today we'll start with some cool specialty, maybe a nap, stuff. Okay, get back there. Okay. Here we are. First of all, we'll do some more stickers. So this is the standard kit that comes in the sticker kits. We do have the beautiful blue metallic packaging with, it appears, DMC codes. Yes. Awesome. We have some special drills with these stickers, which is cool. I did not realize. I wonder where those go. Hmm. Okay. This is my pet peeve with the packaging on these stickers. I love these boxes. They're adorable. They never survive shipment. I mean, look, like for real. But the worst part is that. So we have, I don't know if I'm even gonna be able to straighten these guys out. Probably not until I actually put them on whatever they're going to live on. Ugh. So there are the first three. There you can see where the special drills are going to go on their bellies. So there's different colors and there's different eye shape there. There's those. They're so cute. I love the ones with the like the closed eyes. Super, super cute. I think this one's my favorite color scheme. Very, very cute. We won't go through the drills. You know the drill. Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I mean, they're just, you know. They're regular drills, and then we've just got the special marquee and teardrops to accentuate their bellies. So we won't go through all the colors there. And look at me, I don't like it, but I'm putting them back in there because I have to keep them in the box. Trust me, if you do not have OCD, be so thankful because... Sometimes it's so obnoxiously annoying that I just want to hurt muscle. Not, not, not like, I just want to like, you know what I mean? Anyway, moving on. Because that could go down a really dark road that I don't want to go down. Because I don't mean it. Um, look. It's a little baby piece of wax. So cute. Alright, we have more drills. But no awesome packaging, which is really surprising because these all, I thought, came from the same people. But it's not. So again, the stickers are bent. It's very sad. But they're very cute. Adorable little sea life dudes. So cute. I like them. Very few drills. But I'm not concerned because I my plan for these guys is rhinestones. I don't even care about the regular drills. But um, I definitely want to do at least the turtle, the dolphin, and the penguin in rhinestones. If I have enough extra of the browns, I will definitely do uh, the little seal guy. The whale really freaks me out. It's like a cross between a whale and a sea lion and a manatee. And he looks like he has a bone 
Like a dog's bone for a mouth? I don't know. Maybe it is supposed to be a manatee. I don't know. We can go with manatee since I'm in Florida, right? Sounds like a good plan. Next, super excited about. Also, I haven't tried this yet. I wonder. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, so this is one of the little storage boxes. has divided so you could put your well I don't know if the wax would work here because this is not airtight but theoretically you could put wax a square of wax in here and you could keep your diamond painting pins okay. in there and it is printed beautifully it's not the pattern I wanted I just really wanted but I will deal with it it's always good when I get the stuff that I like, but I don't love, because then I'm more likely to give it as a gift, because we all know I have way too much stuff. So, the drills that go on this box, the stones that go on this box, they are not all drills. We have pearls, and blue circles, and blue ovals, and peach teardrops. Crystal marquees, crystal teardrops. Then we have rhinestones, crystal blue, royal blue, and yellow. Shut that light off, please. Left it on. Thanks, does not want to say hello to the people. He's not a fan of the people. <laughs> the people are going to end, though. All right, so I like that I can put. How do you fan, Mr. A? But. <gasps> Dude, if you knock that off, I'm so happy with you. Allie's calling you. Go away. Okay. So there we have the cute little box, which does hold drill pins with both tips inside. So that is a huge plus. Next. I have a journal, which I was sent one. I still don't know who sent it to me. Sent me one a while back. And this is one ugh, that I actually purchased. I love the little bag that it comes in. These will be super handy for uh, pencil cases or even like for traveling to put your kit and drills and stuff in. So I will definitely be keeping that standard regular kit and then this is the pattern that I got I still want to get the owl there's quite a few of them that I want actually I found a unicorn one I found a peacock one I found one with dolphins on it there's so many so, many. so this one is um, going it looks pretty plain Jane just looking at this wait till you see the drills and this is one of the sketchbooks. So this is probably going to be stolen by my lovely child because she is for always looking for sketchbooks. She loves, she'll carry them around and draw pretty much everywhere we go. If we go to a restaurant or something, she's got her sketchbook. She's doodling, which I absolutely love. I will always encourage her artistic side because that is something that too many parents feel is a waste and uh, not this parent. So I'm really excited about the stones that go on this book. They're really, really spectacular. So we'll start with these two because they're like, wow, so bright. Look at that. They're just rhinestones. That it, that's like burnt orange, almost like fire. And the yellow is so, super, super bright. They're just really clear and so pretty. And then we've got the crystal ones, which look like cut glass. We have the red AB marquee. Crystal AB teardrops. We've got some pearl teardrops. 
Then we have yellow, large yellow rounds, some pearls, and then we have the awesome gold pearls. So I really, really like this. It makes me want to just start do this right now because it's so cool. Why not? Why not? I've got a desk full of diamond paintings. What the heck? Why not? I want to see what this is going to look like. And I just happen to have a drill pen already with wax in it on my desk. Mm. Yeah, I say I'm like, save the bag, and then I'm going to tear it up, get the stupid book out of it. Good job, Margie. Good job. So which way do these go? Let's see. Should we do the bigger ones first? I always start with the bigger drills, the bigger stones, when I do one of these paintings, or one of these paintings, one of these, well, yeah, it's a painting still, one of the specialty projects because ooh, I feel like it goes quicker. I don't think it really does, but that's just how my mind works. All right, so these, let's see, see what I'm doing. Don't look at what's around. That's to come in the future. So when I have the bigger stones like this, I use my multi-placers to pick them up. It's just easier and goes quicker um, than trying to fight with the single drill tip whoops, to pick up this heavy piece. Isn't it funny? Do you, know, do you notice how my cadence changes <laughs> as soon as I start putting these in place? I've got several of you asking me to do paint with me's and stuff. And I'm like, I can't talk while I do them because my brain just kind of shuts down and I go to a quiet place. <laughs> And it's hard to talk while I do it. Look how pretty already. Look at that. Mm, this is so cool. Did these go anywhere else? Yes. Yes. Yes, they do. I don't usually use my hand either. Oops. But when the stones are this big, it really doesn't matter. Because sometimes they, they, if they are too big, the trays are not very practical because they just bounce around in the grooves. I've got a huge mess. If you could see this, like, over here, you would be horrified. Because I've been sitting here for quite a while doing like five different things and my trash can is not beside me I have to keep it in my bathroom because Elsa the bratty queen that she is um, likes to knock it over so it's just easier to pick up the little tiny pieces of paper and whatever else might be in there if it's on the tile and I'm not having to vacuum my floor every single day, even though I probably could do it every single day, thanks to all the cat hair. But I have a bad habit of when I sit down at my desk, I forget that I need to bring my trash can in. So once I sit in this chair, if I get up too many times when I'm in this chair, then my back starts hurting because the way I have to like use my legs and stuff to pull myself in and everything. Um, yeah, so I'm too lazy to get up once I sit down, and if I do happen to get up and I forget again, it's just, it's this whole big ridiculous cycle. So I have a nice pile of trash over there on my desk because I have been too lazy to get up and get my trash can. And I haven't gotten up yet, and I have forgotten to tell Emily to bring it to me when she has been in here bugging me. So I just have a nice little pile of trash going on on my desk. It's lovely. 
but it's like starting to encroach on my workspace, which is severely annoying. This is so pretty. So, so pretty. When I was bidding on this book, I had like five of them that I was bidding on at the same time. And I told myself, I'm going to put the same dollar amount on each auction and I'm not changing it. So whichever I get, it was meant to be. I can always go back later and, you know, because I knew I wouldn't win them all. That's just, that never happens. But <laughs> I shouldn't say that because one of these days that's going to happen and then I'm going to be really in trouble when I have like $100 worth of paintings in my cart at one time. That would be really bad. But anyway, so this is the book that I ended up winning. And it, like I said, it was meant to be because it is the sketchbook. And I know Emily will put it to great use. And the drills are really cool. So I'm not too, too disappointed that I didn't get my owl. Because I do not need any more notebooks because I am not a journaler. And I'm definitely not a sketcher. You know, I, I really wish I could draw, but it's just not in my DNA. So I'm not, I guess it skipped me and went straight to Emily because I have my mom, one of my mom's, um, one of my mom's aunts is an amazing artist. Hey, do me a favor. Grab my trash can. Thank you. See, now I remember to have her give it to me. <laughs> now I can clean off my desk in a minute. So she doesn't know that this is going to be hers yet. So I'm not going to say anything until I'm done with it, and then I'll present it. But I probably shouldn't make y'all sit here and watch me do this whole thing, should I? Oh, look at that. Oh, dang. I thought it was an actual pearl. I thought it was like a teardrop pearl, like, but it was just two, one on top of another. They tricked me. All right. I am pleasantly, no, that's not really the right way. I was going to say I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm really not. I knew it was going to be gorgeous. Ugh. I'm pleased. That's what I want to say. I'm pleased. I really like these teardrop pearls. They are beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't think I have, you know, I might have a couple extras of that size. But they're so, oh, I almost, I missed the whole, the whole center part is all these little dudes. So pretty. It's raining outside. I don't know if you can hear that or not. La, la, la. La, la, la. Hello. Do you like my singing? Okay. There we go. I think that's the last one. No, it's not. My goodness. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So there is the start of our gorgeous book. Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. Help me stop. All right. So I decided I would come back from my tangent trip and finish this video and then finish the book. So that's as far as I got before I reeled myself back in. So all the special stones are in place. I just have the three colors of rhinestone to complete. So let's get back 
to what we're here for. So, first of all, we have this adorable little baby. And you can see who it is. And I think it's going to be halfway decent. Now, I ordered this because I was curious. I knew it needed to be way bigger. But I think it's going to turn out pretty good. Hopefully. So um, there are actually DMC codes on the canvas. It is a 15 by 20 canvas. It's definitely not a 15 by 20 drill site. So um, it's not at a good place. We'll just carefully put those on top of that. So with it being such a tiny, tiny painting, this is what it came with. So it came with the, the uh, inventory sheet and all the drills are in individual bags, which we know how I feel about that. So we are not going to go through them, but there are 21 colors on this teeny tiny painting. And I am curious to see how she's going to turn out. So you can see the picture is she's got a flower on her hair and she's hugging flounder. So hopefully there will be some detail in her face, but I'm not holding my breath because it is really, really small. Stand up. Next is another one that should be bigger, but I think it's going to turn out all right. Mount Rushmore. But this is a gift for my parents because they have actually been there. Seen it in person. So jealous. They take, wait till I'm like grown and have my own family and have no money to spend on trips. Like it's one of those paintings to go to all the really cool places. This plastic has been put on upside down. Yeah, this is not good. And I kind of thought when I first looked at this that the plastic looked very um, opaque, but it didn't dawn on me to, ugh. oh, this is so bad. Ugh. Put my hand in the center of the canvas to keep it from buckling too bad. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, so terrible. And there's no salvaging it because if I turn it over, put it in the right way, then it'll be all sticky. So bear with me while I go remedy this terrible situation. Okay. Crisis. Averted. All right, so I keep I have started keeping um, the other some plastic from other paintings, mainly to replace. Sorry for the terrible noise. Mainly to replace opaque coverings because I'm not a huge fan. We've talked about this before. So I just grabbed one out of my drawer and it is bigger but it was the one on the top so I hate to give up one of my big pieces but we're just going to trim it so it fits and now we have a beautifully <sighs> that made my anxiety go crazy all right so we have Ariel, we have Mount Rushmore, and this is 22 colors, and no DMC codes, plain Jane packaging. They are this is gorgeous. I know. Is it going to go in here like this, maybe? No? Yes? No? Just stand up. 
for Christ's sake. Dang it. Mm. Did it! <sighs> right, not in. <laughs> Give it to me. Stop. <laughs> I'm already irritated. Don't add to it. All right. So next. Irritated. Because people are stupid. That's why. Which people? Shut up. <laughs> me? Am I one of them? Yep. Yeah. Can I just for No. No. Bye. All right. So here we have, and I've gotten myself all mixed up because... I have them in order, but I wanted to show these to you together. So I don't know why I didn't have them together in my pile. But we have this adorable cutie. It makes me happy. So we have 20 colors on this 30 by 40. We'll skip through that because, like I said, I've just gotten myself all out of whack. and I oh. Why does the plastic tear? So one downside to this plastic. It doesn't happen very often, but every once in a while you get one that just shreds when you try to smooth it out. All right, well, that's not going to happen. So this is the next one. Super, super cute. I love these little guys. This is 19 colors. I forgot to look at the code on the canvas. This is not it. Well, maybe I am just not meant to. Wow, is this really it? Okay, so this is 19 colors. It is packaged already in little drill, I mean little drills, little zip top bags. That looks like a lot of drills for that small painting, but it says Mo 18. So I like that. The colors on the canvas are what you see get with the drills. So you can see a ton of black for the background and then some purple and teal. So that is adorable. Next one is a special drill. So we have You Are My Sunshine. Super, super cute. I love it. Love it. Love it. The drills are just straight rhinestones. We have them in the beautiful blue metallic packaging, even though it really doesn't matter. There we have it. There we have it. Pink and yellow are the colors in this painting, as you can see. Next is a partial, which I was hesitant to buy, but I, I don't know. They're just so cute. I should not have paid what I paid for it, but I did. It was $4. Which still isn't bad, but it's a partial. And I don't like paying $4 for partials. But they're so cute. I went ahead and bit the bullet and did it. So they also have very few drills, but very simple as well. It will go very quick. Because it's just their little dresses and their choir books. This next one I'm going to show you was a gift. Um, Emily was sent a bunch of things for her birthday, and one of you included this adorable painting for me. And I am very touched that you included me. And don't freak out, this is for my index cards. I cut the index picture off and put it on my card. So I can put it in my logbook, which is right there. So here is Cutesy Little Owl. And he is going to be done next after I finish the giant Victoria Moon. So this is 20 colors. Oh, why am I yawning so much? No DMC codes, but that's okay. I love the eyes. Look at his eyes, man. They're so expressive. And the little mouse is like, here you go. Here's a little present for you from me. 
I have the cats that are done by the same artist, so I had to get her to go along with them. And it has taken me a while because I was being stubborn with how much I was paying for her. So I kept losing the options, and I finally wore the competition down. Well, they probably all bought it, so no, they left it for me. <laughs> but that's okay, because I got it for the price I wanted. Which was $3.25. So she has got gorgeous colors, and the colors of the drills are the colors of the painting. So we will skip through that just to save a couple of minutes. Isn't she pretty? I just love the colors in this. They're beautiful. Peaches and orange and purple. I love them. I love them a lot. So we're going to stop here for today. Um, yeah, we're going to stop here for today. And I will be back with y'all real, real soon to show you more. Love you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. All of these paintings that I've shown you today all came from eBay. So if you're, curi cur if you're curious, go check it out. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.